Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about how to cross-examine like a pro. This is going to be a very simple guide. Uh, it's going to contain only the basics of cross-examination, nothing too fancy, but I think uh, it can help you out, especially if you have trial coming up next week or a few days from now and you need something quick to get you by and to help you be a relatively effective cross-examiner. So let's start. Okay, so uh, our top tips for an effective cross-examination. Uh, the first one is keep it short. You know, you uh, you have to try and be succinct. No one likes long questions, uh, especially compound questions. Try and keep it simple using plain language, simple English. Your uh, witness is not necessarily a lawyer or uh, understand legalese, so try and make it simple and short. Next thing, uh, every question you ask should be a yes no question should be answered or can be answered by a yes no answer um typically we're talking about using leading questions uh we're going to talk about it on the next slide but typically it's basically a statement followed by a tagline for instance you went to the meeting correct you went to buy something is that right now you have to know the answer in advance. Don't go fishing. Uh, the goal of cross-examination is not to discover new things, but it's to corroborate your theory of the case. Uh, so you have to use questions you already know the answer to. And you, the witness's job basically is just to, to confirm or disapprove of a certain fact. Now, only cross-examine witnesses that can hurt or support your theory of the case. Uh, there's no use of just asking a mom if she loves her son if it doesn't help your case. Uh, and sometimes not asking any questions on cross-examination is a perfectly acceptable practice. Now, you are in charge. Don't allow the witness to start uh, examining, explaining, telling a story. Don't ask him who, why, when. Uh, basically, that's that's your part to uh, disprove his theory, his facts. Now, let's talk about form. Um, your goal is to always control the witness. Uh, you state a fact, and the witness simply agrees or disagrees with that fact. Um, now, we talked about using leading questions on cross-examination. Now, a leading question, as, as we said before, is a statement followed by a tagline. Uh, I've uh, put some examples here for you. Now, let's talk about the L1 rule. That's a rule, basically, a very simple rule I came up with using the knowledge uh, I read on books and on YouTube and whatever, but it makes um, asking questions simpler. And now, follow this rule, and I guarantee you're going to be a lot more effective than before on your cross-examination. The first rule is ask only leading questions unless unless you don't care what the answer is, in which case you can ask an open-ended question. Uh, for, for instance, how, how much do you charge for your services? If I don't care what the answer is, I can ask such an open-ended question. And only have one fact in each question. If you ask compound questions and the witness responses, yes, no one can know, especially the, the jury or the judge. No one knows what he said yes to. Let's see an example of a transcript. Uh, it's fictional, but it can help you understand and implement the rules we talked about. Mr. Witness, you work for Mr. Boss, right? Yes. And on this capacity, you are a part of uh, many transactions. Yes, you could say that. And one of these transactions was done with Mr. Thompson from Thompson & Co. Is that correct? Indeed, he was a client. So is that a yes? Yes. It was a weapon deal. Yes, it was. Now, guys, this is a very simple video. I just wanted to show you some, some of the things I learned and I picked up from very great books I bought on Amazon. And uh, I've basically just tried to provide the simple, basic 
steps and techniques to be used on cross-examination. Obviously, there's a lot more to learn, but I think it can help you out if that's the only thing you're going to learn before conducting your first ever uh, cross-examination in court. Obviously, I'm going to put some sources, some links to uh, some great books. You guys can can purchase some of them. Some of them are very, very helpful. Uh, for instance, uh, Terry McCarty's book is great. Um, some more books on Amazon. I'm going to post the links below the video in, in the description box. And you can go ahead and pick them up. Now, guys, feel free to hit me up with any questions, comments, suggestions. Cedra, I'm open to suggestions about creating more videos. This is my first video uh, regarding this topic. If you guys want to learn some more things, ask me stuff. It's perfectly fine. I'm, I'll, I'll be happy to talk with you guys, really. And, and please, <laughs> guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. Um, and also let me know if there's another, as I said, legal topic you need me to cover or assistance with something, and I will try and put a video for that topic as well and um, thanks for watching and you can click on the links below to get some very good books goodbye